I've never met anyone who likes the Book of Obadiah as much as I do. I am a huge Obadiah nerd. The Fall of Edom gets me every time. Tut, tut. Remember to leave three feet for God. Our Lord has very wide hips. <laughs> hey, guys. I wanted to meet Zeke's mystery lady I've been hearing so much about. Yeah, uh, Phaedra, this is my friend Prudence. Oh, well, best friend. <laughs> More than that, really. Uh, so, Phaedra, what's your deal, girl? Uh, my deal? Yeah, you know, like, uh, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, um, I don't have fun. I mostly just stare at the wall and dwell on the nature of guilt. <laughs> Eesh, real live wire over here. <laughs> you dwell on guilt? Me too, it is one of my favorite forms of shame. Really? How do you feel about self-denial? I love it. It's like, how much stuff do you actually need, self? Right? So little! <laughs> cool, seems like you two have a lot to talk about, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go. Nice to meet you. Quick, what is your favorite way of cleansing sin? One, two, three. Mortification, Mortification of the flesh! flesh. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, your fingers are like magic, Hosiah. <laughs> oh, Prudence, how great are these Noonans? They'll do anything you ask if you say that you're in need, which, as you know, I am. Hey, careful with the nails, Jethro. I'm so poor. What does he like about that girl? A bowl of oatmeal in a wig would have more personality than her. Well, I mean, the Reverend's a pretty boring guy, too, so it seems like the perfect match. Uh. Whatever, it's just one date. It's not like they're getting married. Glorious news, brothers and sisters. Ezekiel and Phaedra found their first date satisfactory. So the wedding will commence this afternoon. What? Noonans! Let's show them how we say congratulations. Congratulations. Don't stop. Oh. Any last words? Uh, maybe. You know what? No, I'm good. Then tell the devil, Trig says hi. Yeah. <sighs> OK. Yes, Dad, is there a problem? What? No, uh, you're doing great. OK, then. Tell the devil, Trig says hi. Oh, God, excuse me. OK, clearly you have something to say, so why don't you just say it? OK, it's just, can we do something better than shooting him? Anybody could shoot a guy. I mean, where's the showmanship? What about tying him to the train tracks or throw him off a cliff, something? This is the way I like to kill people. It is clean, it is efficient. I'm Trig, the efficiency machine. What is the square root of killing a guy? OK, I, I don't sound like that. You know what might be fun? Take a big rock and just drop it on him. That's fun. What if we tie his limbs to horses and rip him apart? What if we do something bad to his penis? Actually, could you just shoot me? We could make him uh, sit on some knives. He'd bleed from his butt. Now we're cooking. What else? Feed him to the alligator. Desert? We ain't got alligators out here. Cut off his legs and call him shorty. Or we can just let him go. Who said that?